Hello guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Motofit Adam. Uh, today we're gonna discuss about um, motorbike uh, tire uh, tire repairing kit. I'm gonna tell you more about that, and also I'm just gonna take you to market uh, where they are repairing the tires or replacing the tires, the de the damaged tires. So guys, I'm gonna talk about two types of repairing kits right now. Uh, one of them is this kit. Uh, this kit is known as a tire repairing kit, which is written over here Inside this kit is there are some chemical foams in this uh, kit, you know, it's a aerosol uh, foam uh, Inside this kit, you know how I am using this kit is uh, You know you have to shake this uh, Because like when you shake it before you use it uh, it just you know the aerosol inside it is mixing this chemical is mixing with air and liquid so when you shake this chemical uh, it will just make a form that when you apply to, the, to this to your tires that aerosol foam is gonna rotate uh, when you are driving your motorbike so it will just cover all the surface which is like exploded or uh, which there's a damage on the surface which the nails is coming up and the screws is gonna be inside the tire so that aerosol will turn inside the tire so <coughs> basically how am I using this kit is you know if there's a screw or nail inside your tire uh, when you apply to this kit uh, which you shouldn't take that nail or a screw from your tire when you apply this uh, and when you uh, air pressure air pressure your tires with uh, like uh, you know the PSI that you are using to your tires I don't know maybe 32 29 whatever you know if you're a scooter driver it may be a little bit uh, less so when you apply this uh, to your tires with this screw or nail inside your tire this aerosol foam when you rotate the tire will uh, automatically uh, will rotate inside the tire and it will cover all the surface that is needed uh, in order for you to take your bike to the nearest uh, tire shop you know so I'm really excited about this about this product uh, it's really good it's 300 milliliters and it's really uh, not really heavy it's a really light product really light uh, product so it's not heavy just put it in your um, put it in your bag uh, you know backpack so it will not cover that much area as well so you guys have to carry this if you are taking a long distance or even if you are driving so short distance just uh, please carry this item and when you apply this do not take any nails or screws that are in your tire because uh, the it that nail or tire will have a responsibility will have a uh, will have a task is as, as a plug plugging uh, for the air uh, coming up you know air is not gonna deflate in your tire and uh, if you press an air inside your tire like inflate it um, and apply this uh, the air is not gonna move anywhere else so when you pull off that nail or uh, screw from your tire air will automatically deflate so when the air is automatically deflate guys uh, you guys is not uh, is going to use another uh, repairing kit which is called per repairing kit you know you can search this from internet i'm not gonna go into that uh, rubber kit because uh, my um, some of the people are saying me when you use that rubber kit uh, when you apply that rubber kit to your tires it will just make a bigger holes so uh, maybe the cold patch is not gonna suit very well in the tires so when you use this when you take the tire to the to the tiring market you know that people is just gonna uh, clean that up wipe that wipe that foam uh, from that surface and remove it automatically and then later on uh, will repair your uh, tires 
Okay guys, this, the third important point uh, which should be noticed is if that nail or screw in your tire uh, comes up uh, from the from the side of the tire uh, which we are applying these keys for the middle section of the tire if if it is like in the side of the tire that uh, nails or screws is side of the tire it will just uh, damage it so much and cold patch is not gonna be suitable for it so you guys need to replace that tire immediately otherwise if somebody else uh, which they are not going to make it but if they agree that, uh, that they're gonna apply the cold patch to the side of the tire it's not gonna fit well you know after a hundred kilometers or 50 kilometers later that tire is gonna explode during uh, you are taking a, uh, during you are in the way on your way going to somewhere else so uh, you know um, you shouldn't uh, leave something like that so uh, if that nail or uh, you know strip as I'm mentioning again and again, again uh, is in your middle section of your tire uh, the cold patch can be applied uh, immediately and it will just be so awesome you know you can just take uh, 20,000 kilometers or 30,000 miles uh, whatever you know uh, it's like a 5 or 10 years it got uh, like a usage uh, guarantee you know uh, they are guaranteeing you that uh, you can use your tire for 10 more years you know so guys um, uh, this is what I'm going to indicate you guys I'm really satisfied with this product I'm really uh, I'm really uh, you know uh, happy to use this product so you can buy this product from any other oil marketing companies oil markets or you know markets in your country so use this repairing kit for your tires now guys I'm gonna take you guys to a shop which the shop owner is my closest friend he is doing that business for over 10 20 years uh, sorry for over 12 years he's been in that shop and he's the owner of the company and he's uh, you know uh, using Michelin tires so he's what what is he doing is he's repairing the tires uh, he's uh, replacing the tires and also he's main he's a maintenance guy as well uh, for your tires you know uh, he's like checking it uh, for every year uh, he's looking for the winter tires and you know uh, summer tires he's uh, like advising you guys so I'm gonna introduce you guys to his shop okay guys this is this is the market for uh, motorbike tires uh, from Izmir Turkey you know this is Buz Motor you know you can see the website as well uh, yeah. Actually, in this market, uh, you can find, you know, the re repairing maintenance part for the tires. Uh, if you want to repair the tires, uh, you know, if you want to make a maintenance or if you want to change the tires, you just need to use this market. Okay, and also there are a number of different models of tires, but all depends on Michelin. Like the, the brand is called Michelin, you know. So it's a big brand uh, uh, which only sells in this market of Turkey in Izmir. So I'm just going to show you guys which models of which bikes, uh, which model and which bike and which tire is compatible with which motorbike. So now uh, let's discuss a little bit about these issues. Right now these are the tires for different bikes. As you can see, all are Michelin. Uh, different sizes of uh, of tires. This is for uh, you know thin thin tires, and some of them are medium, and some of them are large. So uh, for different bikes, super sport bike, cruiser bikes, uh, you know dirt bikes, you can find these tires which are really different sizes and models
For the dirt bikes, as you can see, guys. And this is this machine is used for taking off the tire from the from the rim. So they are just putting the tire as I'm gonna display as well in a second the bike uh, which the tires is complete is gonna be changed or uh, they are gonna make a cold patch on the tires so this is the machine which uh, takes the tire from the rim uh, they use it accordingly and also this is the balance machine of, uh, of the tire if there's an unbalance uh, issues on the rim they are using this balance machine and this is the this is the water they always putting this kind of uh, tire insiders in this water to see actually if there's a screw or nail on the in the in the tire so uh, models of tires as you can see so guys if you guys are thinking about changing your tires or if you guys are thinking about uh okay guys if you guys are thinking about changing tire or if you guys thinking about making a repair kit for the tire uh, which they are mostly using cold cold patch uh, which I'm gonna show you guys uh, in a quick second uh, they are using a cold patch you know and also uh, they are changing the tires mostly if there's a nail or screw is uh, stuck on the tires you know they are completely changing the tires so you guys, uh, you know, if there's a nail or a screw stuck on the tire, uh, like uh, now I'm gonna display you something. Okay guys, this is an example, okay? This is the mid section of the tire. If the nail or screw is stuck on the section of the bike, you know, of the tire, they are just pulling off with screwdriver and then making a cold patch. But if the nail or screw is stuck on the corner of the tire which is this section uh, they cannot really make any uh, cold patch so instead of cold patch they are replacing the tires completely this is due to the sutures on the on the corner of the bike and also cold patch is not suitable for this section so instead of cold patch they are using uh, they are replacing the completely the tire. Okay, guys, this is our uh, experience repairman, uh, which is Mr. Yasin. Okay. So he's a good person. He's he's the owner of this company, and owning this company for 12 years time. So if you guys wanna uh, talk to him or if you guys wanna mail him, just mail the outer part of the market. You know that website. So. We are pleasure you guys if you guys uh, come to this market and replace the tires or make some changes on the tires. This, uh, this is a Honda scooter. Uh, we are just gonna make a cold patch on this motorbike. Now uh, Mr. Yasin is changing the, the exo like taking off the, taking off the exhaust part from the bike, which takes really some effort and so much time. Now he took out the exhaust and now uh, we got the tire completely seen. Now he is using some drills to pull it off. Pull the uh, screws off. And uh, we just gonna take the rim out of the tire. Now he's putting it to the water and trying to observe if there's a leakage on the tire. I think he's gonna find it somewhere else where the nail or screw is stuck on the on the on the tire. Yeah, he find the position right now. I think he's gonna circle it as well with his pen. Okay, he find it.
This is the part, you guys. As you can see, there's a leakage. So he's uh, taking off the nail. Yeah, as you can see, he took the nail off. Okay. He took the nail off successfully. And now he's gonna make a cold patch in that section. Uh, now he's uh, trimming the surface. He's circling the position. There are two things left. He's gonna mill it, mill the tire inside the tire, and also after that, he's gonna apply the cold patch. And then everything is gonna be finished, and he's just gonna inflate the tire after all the process has been finished. He's gonna mill this section, as I told you guys. Now it's, it's the mill, milling process. You know, when you apply this cold patch to the nylon, uh, which is a nylon tires, uh, that this page, that cold this page, is uh, quite well stuck on the bike. So there is no leakage or there is no dirt, there is no damage that can be caused on the tires. So it's very suitable. And also, this is a German brand. He is using it's a plug mini combi A3P. You know. Uh, they are using these cold pitches, so this is the blue cold pitch as he is describing us. This, uh, this cold pitch uh, has got some diameters, you know, according to the nails they stuck on the tire. So he's applying different kind of uh, diameters and also uh, diameters on the tires. So he's trying to find them and then later on he's applying them to the tires. Yeah. Now uh, he is oh, plugging be. that uh, cold page for the tires and pulling off from the other side, as you can see, by uh, by the help of a screwdriver. So he, as you can see, he just push it off from the from the tire. Now he's gonna pull that section, and then later on, as you can see. Now he's gonna apply this uh, uh, gum on the on the tire, which is gonna hold it, hold that section uh, properly, hold that uh, cold patch properly. And now he's gonna pull that section with uh, with puller. Okay, like as you can see, like this. After this, he's gonna cut it off. Uh, the the part that is not really important for the tire he's just gonna cut that section with scissors or something like that you know now he's gluing you know uh, so that the cold patch will suitably on the surface will stuck on the surface very very, uh, very cool way you know you guys We are, in, we are in the end process. Now uh, he's gonna put the tire back to the rim 
by the and also is like uh, cleaning the dirt on the on the tire, the dirt pipes. Now he's gonna apply the final process. Okay, he put the tire back to the rim, uh, to the tire, and he's cutting the the section, the final section, and it's really completed. He finished this project of the of the tire. And please, guys, don't uh, forget to subscribe and thumbs up for this video and uh, for the following videos as well. Thanks for watching me guys.